Slosh fooled you. Now, the mighty arms of a giant squid are strangling you, pulling you to the most powerful beak on the planet. But you weren't born to be calamari bait, so you need to fight back. But how? Here's how to survive a giant squid attack. For hundreds of years, Norwegian sailors feared the Kraken, said to be a huge tentacled creature as big as 10 ships. But in the 1850s, the creature that inspired the legendary monster was finally revealed, thanks to a giant beak that washed up on Denmark's coast. But it wasn't before 2006 that researchers filmed a giant squid for the first time. These terrifying creatures live more than 1,000 meters deep in the ocean, called the Midnight Zone. There they eat fish and other squid. The largest specimen captured so far is a 13 meter long female. But because of the huge squid beaks found in whale stomachs, scientists believe that giant squids can reach 20 meters long. They have two huge feeding tentacles that can catch you from 10 meters away. Their eight strong arms are weapons, with thousands of sharp toothed suckers that can pull you into the squid's hard beak. Then it will cut you into little bites, and it'll take its time enjoying your tasty meat. You're going to be dinner unless you keep watching. Can you dive deep enough to find one? Can you swim fast enough to escape? Is there any creature that it is afraid of? <laughs> Step one, mind your own business. Yes, they live in waters over 1,000 meters deep, but they venture up to 300 meters below the surface where humans actually dive. So you'd better stay away from those depths. Like octopuses, squids can change their color to blend in with their surroundings, so you may not see them. Also, squid can swim over 40 kilometers per hour. That's five times faster than Olympic champion Michael Phelps. So your best chance of surviving a giant squid attack is to stay well away. Step two, wear armor. The powerful suckers on a giant squid's arms and feeding tentacles are armed with sharp teeth that can rip your skin. Can you see the scars on the sperm whale? Yep, that was from a giant squid attack. So if you're planning to dive into squid territory, it's a good idea to wear chainmail. That'll help protect you from those slashing suckers. But chainmail won't save you from the beak's extreme pressure. In 2010, scientists inserted a Kevlar plate into a giant squid's beak to measure the strength of its bite. The squid tore the Kevlar plate in half, and that Kevlar plate was 20 times stronger than steel. Step three, anchor in. If a giant squid grabs you, it will pull you deeper into the ocean where it feels safer. Scott Cassell experienced this when he was filming Humboldt squid called Red Devils off the coast of La Paz, Mexico. One squid attacked his arm, and it pulled so hard that it dislocated Scott's shoulder. It also broke his wrist in five places and bit his head, exposing his skull to the ocean's salt water. The squid started pulling him down so fast that one of his eardrums burst, causing extreme pain. So tie yourself tightly to the boat if you don't want to end up at the bottom of the ocean. Step four, fight. Even if you're tethered to your ship, if a giant squid grabs you, you're close to death. Your only chance is to fight back. When two Humboldt squids were pulling him down, even though Scott was seriously injured, he fought for his life. He hit the squid with his injured arm and underwater camera, and the squid released him. Scott harnessed the moment and swam back to his boat. So, punch as hard as you can, and go for the eyes as they are big as dinner plates, about 30 centimeters wide. A squid's eyes are very sensitive, so if you get the chance, give a good sting to the eyes. That will help convince the squid to release you. Step five, pray for a whale. This giant squid attacks so hard and so fast that it doesn't give you a chance to get away. You're exhausted, and you can only pray for a miracle. Wait, what is that? It's a huge sperm whale, the giant squid's worst nightmare. 
these wonderful giants can hold their breath for more than 90 minutes, and they dive deep enough to catch giant squid for dinner. Suddenly, the squid releases you so it can defend itself from the attacking whale. You can swim back to the surface, but don't go too fast. You could get decompression sickness, called the bends. Amazing! Against all odds, you survived this terrifying encounter. But imagine being stranded inside a horror movie. Could you survive that? Let's find out here on How to Survive.